Hi guys, it's your girl Tima Lewis coming again with another video. Hi Chicky Poos, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tima Lewis coming with another video. And this video will be based on how do I clean my makeup brushes, a very important fact in makeup. So for those who have already subscribed to my channel, I must say thank you all so, so much. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for those who have not, thank you all so much for watching this video. And I know one day you will subscribe. And for those who are joining for the first time, thank you all so much. So, without further ado, let's get started. My sister, look at brushes. Oh, look at brushes. Hey. My sister, we're going to clean all these brushes today. Ha eh? <laughs> So I'm just plainly full. So just remember that your makeup brushes contain more than just makeup residue. They also contain body oils and dust and dead skin cells and dirt. Right? So they always need to be cleaned properly. So if you leave your brushes too much, you'll have so much buildup and negatively, it will affect your future makeup application. Right? So what I love to do, I love to separate my brushes. So you will see me putting them together and so forth. And you know... So that they wouldn't have no jumble out make sure that i clean everyone that's how we need to be cleaning you understand so the most dangerous sequence of this um these dirty brushes is that they contain so much bacteria yes people it contains a lot of bacteria that can cause skin problems and infection so you always have to remember that right so there are so many ways people just clean their brushes they make up brushes right so i'm clean it with a quick fix which i will not be doing you understand now for the smaller brushes it depends on if i go to do a makeup and so forth i will do a quick fix cleaning with alcohol base other than that these bigger brushes hello honeys you gotta make sure that your brushes are always clean okay right so consuming some sometime i'm cleaning all these brushes it consumes a lot of time you call this deep cleaning so you I already packed them as how I want them to be cleaned right so I saw them out and stuff right and you should always clean your brushes between application and never use a dirty brush on two people okay always make sure when you're using your brushes you apply it on a clean face so always remember that so I'm just showing off the little um dirty brushes that we got there now these are a lot of brushes to clean now honey there is a lot of brushes to clean here all right so we're gonna get straight into the cleaning process all right so what i have here is a brush cleanser shampoo now first time i'm using this brush cleanser shampoo so we're gonna see how it works right so i have a terrine that i will just follow with water now i'll always make sure that the water do not pass okay so I always make sure that the water do not pass the brush handle so I'm just going to apply some brush cleanser in the water now I don't like using warm water all the time so sometimes I will mix the water but this time I did not mix it so what I have here is two silicone brush scrub well that's what I call it right so sorry I didn't get the first clip of what I did but Basically, I soak the brushes just for about five minutes. Now, if it's a little bit of brushes, I basically set it for 20 minutes. But seeing that it's too much of brushes, oh my gosh, I can't set all of that right now. So what I basically do, I let it set for five minutes, you understand, and I rub it against the silicone brush. Now, most of the times, I don't hold my brush upwards, but seeing that the camera was facing downwards I hold it up so you all could have basically seen how clean the brush is yes right so what I do is I take off all of the heaviness of the brushes please now I wash my brushes twice so I take off all the heaviness I put it aside and I just dip and put aside dip and put aside what what you see I'm doing there circular motion right and that's it basically most of the times so we just scrub in circular motion right through right so we're making sure that the brushes are really clean and disinfect now so sometimes you may not pick up all of the dirt on the first wash right it depends on how now i'm 
I'm a cleanser girl, right? Meaning like I love to clean, 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 clean. Make sure that my tools are always clean, right? So what you see in here, I just go back in now and scrubbing it against the silicone. But most of the times, as I was saying before, most of the times, how I have it in this thing there, I does not have the brushes like that, right? I always have it back in a in a um terrine, right? And I just dip it back in the terrine and make sure that it's clean. But I just wanted to sanitize, um, clean all the handles and so forth. So clean, 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 and more clean, right? So I always shape back the brushes in the shape that the brushes come as well. So this is my next batch, okay? So you see how dirty these brushes are. Right, so most of the times, I will not be setting for 20 minutes, ladies. So you'll see I'll just be dipping, 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 dipping. And once the brush cleanser, shampoo gets onto the brush and so forth, it takes off. So you will see that the water became, becomes more dirty. So it takes off majority of the day. So. Right, so. But I find this brush cleanser works good so far. I find though that I have to put too much in order for you to get all the fortiness and so forth, right? So this is the second wash that they are getting, right? So sometimes the first wash you will see it look, still look a little brownish. If you watch in the background, you'll see that other brush there. You see that it's brown, still got that brownness on it, right? So always make sure that I wash off all of those brushes clean like that, yes. Yes, ladies, like that. So as I say, don't hold the brushes up. I just hold it up so you can see it, right? And squeeze it like that, but everything will be hung down afterwards, right? So that was just for a second there, to make sure that you all see how clean the brushes are. Okay, okay, ladies. It look, the bristle looks so dead. <laughs> okay, so this is probably the third batches, right? of cleaning those brushes it's so many brushes oh my goodness right so we dip circular motion right don't just drag it any and anyhow circular motion you don't want to damage your bristle on your brushes as well right so i'll just scrub 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 so i'll bring it closer so you all can see how clean it gets after but these are one of my favorite brushes you people set from heavens and cosmetics right so majority of the brushes you see in there are my testers and uh, have a cosmetics brushes and also I have some BS small in there as well right so what this is a second cleansing right so you see I use these smaller ones the smaller silicone for the smaller brushes right so as I say I just have them in the sink there but it's just for a second right, so they are all clean ladies they are all clean yeah yeah so what i does on my second batches right i make sure and rinse off the silicone because you don't want all that dirt you can't wash all the brushes in one set of water no 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 so we're just going to throw away right this set of water which is so dirty right i'm just going to pour it out and then we're going to rinse all that terrine again right and we're going to move ahead with our next batch of brushes. So we're just going to fill back this terry, not full, not full, just a little water with some brush shampoo cleanser, right? And we're just going to throw up the water a little, throw it up, baby, throw it up, throw it up, throw it up, throw it up, right? And then we're going to apply our next set of brushes. Yes, people, it's a lot of brushes, we know that. Right, so when you're working on a large number of people, you always make sure that you carry, right, a couple of brushes, right, so there is so much, so much brushes, so after your makeup is complete, you can do a quick cleaning, which is like with the small brushes, as I said before, right, and you always make sure that you disinfect your brushes as well, but for the large brushes, no way, you can't reuse those large brushes. So the small one consists of probably eyeshadow, right, brushes, flat brushes, but those big foundation brushes and stuff, no way Jose, no way, right? Always make sure that your brushes are dry properly after, 
right so we'll see the process coming down a little to the end of the video right so this one was set for just basically about five minutes right and I think I got the I think this is my last batches of brush just gonna see how fast I can clean all those leads from those brush yeah 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 right so you see at the side of the terrain I put so they have to get to like a second right second rinse right so it's finished so this is how I lay my brushes when it's finished right so I spread a whole big long towel whole towel on the floor I'm, not, I'm being honest to you all on the floor right and I lean it against the wall right? so my brushes only takes one day to, to dry one day so if I apply this if I wash all those brushes in the night next day it's dry okay so just remember I don't wait right for all these brushes to build up on me right I always make sure and wash them after I do a client and so forth but I had so many so many so many so many and I let it build up right so what I will advise you all to do to always make sure and wash your brushes regularly right so that it will be preserved and keep the quantity of the brush brushes and keep them in optimum condition and so forth so these are the finishing product guys of the brushes I lay them out it just took me one day for these brushes to dry right and they are all fully dried and equipped but what I could also advise you all that um, for those who may not be able to find a, um, a shampoo cleanser for the brushes you all could also use a baby Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo and also a detox shampoo so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and thank you all so much for tuning in and for listening and for watching all this entire video. Love you guys. See you all in my another video.